Okay, so <clears throat> since I can't get my tablet to work, I'm going to work this problem using um, Excel. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and I just never actually have gotten to it. So um, I just wanted to show you in Excel how to do it. So here is the problem in, that you have on your handout, and I am going to calculate um, each of these columns for you, A, B, C, D. And I'm going to show you, you know, relatively quickly and easily in Excel, and again, you know, you can slow this down, take your time or whatever, and you don't have to do it in Excel. You are welcome to do this on a piece of paper. It's totally fine. For column A, we want to calculate, as it says in your, your paper there, price times volume. So we're just going to hit equals, and we're going to do uh, volume times uh, price. And so hit that, and we've got 20650 And because of the way we set up our formula, we just copy it down, and we've got all of the uh, volume time prices. In column B, we want to calculate variable cost divided by price, so we're going to hit equals. We've got our um, variable cost right here, $1.25, and we want to divide that by price. And then, oh, well, sorry, we got to round this because otherwise we get all these decimal places. So. So as you can see, I've got round E7 divided by D7 rounded to three decimal places. And so that's what I get here, uh, 0.424. And then we're going to copy that down. And we copy it down by grabbing this corner and pulling it down. And there we have column B right here, which is variable cost divided by price. Now we're going to calculate column C, which is going to be a 1 minus column B, or 1 minus variable cost over price. So we're going to hit um, a plus sign, and we're going to open parentheses, and we're going to do 1 minus, and we'll just click on that column there, and then that way, uh, when we copy it down, it'll follow. But one more thing we want to do is round this to three decimal places to be consistent. So you can see I've got round 1 minus H7 comma 3, and that's going to give us um, the number rounded to uh, three decimal places. And then we can copy that formula down as well. Now we're on to percent of sales. So we're going to go down here and type out column uh, D is uh, percent of sales, just so you know what we're doing here. And in here, well, again, we're going to uh, hit our plus sign. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the word round in first because I know I'm going to have to go back and do it. So um, percent of sales is going to be uh, this number here, 20,650 divided by 46,300. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hit divided by, and then I'm going to click on this number, but because I know that number, the G12 46,300, I don't want that to move. I'm going to also um, anchor this by hitting F4, which puts a dollar sign on either side of the G, which means that that number will stay the same even when I copy it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my comma 3 for my rounding. And I get 45%. And if I want to open it up one more, um, you can get the, the third decimal place there, right? We'll copy that down. We get it all the same amount of decimals. So that's, that's all good. That's what we're looking for. And then the last column we want to calculate here is E. And E is going to be the weighted number that we're after here. And it's going to be column D times column C. So that's going to be percent of sales times um, the contribution margin, if you will. So here we're going to do equals round open parentheses percent of sales times um, contribution margin comma 3 for the rounding. And we get this 0.257 number. And we're going to copy that down. And then the number we're trying to get is in this little yellow box right here. We, we need the sum here. 
and so that's where we get that 0.623. This 0.623 is similar to that V minus P, excuse me, P minus V in the regular break-even problems that we do. So now that we have this number, we can calculate our break-even in dollars. And so we do that by taking the rent right here, which is $200 per month, and we need to um, divide that by our factor. But first, we need to turn our rent from monthly to annual. So it's going to be 2,000 times 12, or 24,000. So now we can calculate our break even by taking our 24,000 and dividing it by our factor here. So here we'll put BEP and we're going to do equals 24,000 divided by that number right there. And we're going to turn that into a dollar value. So 38,523 should be our break even in dollars for the year. And let's go ahead and put a box around that so it looks nice and neat. And now let's go over here and calculate the um, break even per item units. So now we're going to calculate our break even per item, and that's going to be a dollar value. And then we're going to turn that into units. So the way we calculate our break even per item is we have to take the total sales for the, or excuse me, we have to take the break even point, which we know is going to be uh, this number right here. We'll click on that. And we're going to need to anchor that because we don't want that to change. And we're going to have to multiply that times percent of sales for that particular item. And this is going to be a dollar value of sales of sandwiches. So perhaps this would be better stated as break even. Uh, dollar value, so we'll put in the dollar sign per item. Now over here, if we want to figure out how many units per year we need to sell, well we have to divide this up into sandwich size chunks essentially, so we need to divide it by uh, 2.95, so we're going to hit equals. Now this, we need to round to zero because we cannot have parts of sandwiches that we're selling. The law tends to frown on that, so we take the dollar value, we divide it by the price, and we hit comma zero, because we want to round it to items. So this is number of units per year we have to sell. So the sandwiches, we need to sell 5,824 per year. We could also do it by month, so here we would just take um, 5,824 and divide that by 12 and round it to zero also because you can't have parts. So we're going to have to sell 485 sandwiches per month. Now I'm going to go through this one more time here just to make sure everybody has it. In order to calculate the break even per item per month, I'm, I'm sorry, to, in order to calculate the break even per item for the year, we take we're going to round it to two decimals because it's dollars. So we're going to take the break even in dollars down here, this 38,523. We're going to multiply that times the percent of sales for that item. So this is the soft drink. So we're going to multiply it times 12.1%. And then we're going to round it to two decimal places. So we need to make $4,661.32 of sales of soft drinks in a year in order to break even. In units, we take this number and we divide it by the cost of the soft drink, which is 80 cents. And we have to put the round to zero up here because I forgot that. And get rid of the two decimals that we don't need. So, um, pretty similar number to the one above, that's interesting. Um, it's only because the cost is so different at 80 cents. 
And then the units per year, we're just going to take, I mean the units per month, we're going to take the, va the units per year and divide by 12. And I forgot to round it, so let me go put that back in. So 486 units per month, which is very similar to the one above because, of course, it's the same number of units per year. Let's just do one more, um, just to make sure you got it. So we'll do equals round open parentheses. Uh, we want this 38,000. We're going to anchor it because we. Um, are going to copy it down from here, multiply by the percent of sales, which is right there, Oops, comma two, and then over here we're going to take this number and we're going to divide it by the cost of a potato, which is a dollar fifty-five, but we have to round it. And then lastly, we'll flip it over to a month. So we're going to take this, we're going to divide it by 12, and of course we have to round it to zero, because we can't have a part of a potato. And we get 346 potatoes. So let's then just copy this down. And there you go. You can see that. Um, you know, we need these many, this many of these particular units to sell per month. This is the uh, total units per year, and then this is the dollar value that we need to sell to break even. Uh, one more thing I want to do on this is also calculate the profit. <coughs> um, if we wanted to make a profit, say, of $10,000, um, we would do basically the same thing, but we would need to add the profit we want to make into the numerator of the equation. So I went ahead and typed this out as an equation so you could see it. So if we want to make a profit of $10,000, we have to take 12 times 2,000 to, to account for this piece here. Then we have to add our 10,000 to it. We still divide by the same WI, and we should get 54,574.64. Whereas before, remember, we got 38,523. So now, if, for example, we wanted to see how many units per year we would need to sell in order to have this profit of 54,500, excuse me, in order to have a profit of 10,000, we would have to redo all of this with this number as our multiplier. Because up here, we've got. Um, this number 38,523 so we'd have to replace 38,523 with 54,574.64 to see if it you know how many we would have to sell to break even I'm sorry not break even but make a profit of 10,000 you know of course in addition to breaking even all right so I apologize for not getting this up sooner and I hope this helps and see you soon